Very warm welcome to the club. First of all, just talk us through how the move came about. Yeah, so it was uh, pretty pretty quick this week. Um, spoke with the gaffer and uh, really liked his ideas and, uh, um, and what he wanted to do with this club and, uh, and get it back to, to where it should be. You turned down a new contract at Gillingham. Was it just a case of it being time for a new challenge for you? Yeah, definitely. Um, spent four years there, really enjoyed my time there. Um, and yeah, like you said, I just uh, wanted a new challenge and, uh, and, and this seemed like the perfect place to, to do that. Yeah, and obviously four seasons at Gillingham, that's four seasons in League One, so you know this level very well. Yeah, definitely. It's a, it's, it's a tough league. Yeah, it'll take a lot, a lot to get out of it with, with some big teams here and, and I feel like with the, what the gaffers told me, um, we, we, we can do that here. Yeah, what, what have the discussions between yourself and the gaffer been like? How did he sort of sell the club to you? Um, well, I see he told me about the training ground, how good it was, and seeing it today, it, it, it's, it's great. And obviously the fans um, are, are, are special here, and, and, he, and, he, and he told me that. And obviously his, his project championship um, was his main thing, and, and that's where I want to be, and, and hopefully we can do that here. Yeah, and obviously you've spent a couple of sessions with the, the lads from what you've learned about them so far. Do you think that they've, they've got that quality to be able to mount a real challenge next season? Yeah, definitely. Um, close to it last year, obviously, and, and we have a few additions and definitely um, um, be, be in and around it and, and hopefully we can, we can achieve that. Before your time at Gillingham, you, you started off at Spurs. That must have been great experience. Obviously, it's a, a big club and you must have rubbed shoulders with some big players as well. Yeah, definitely. It's, a, it's it's not a bad place to to get schooled at, um, and yeah, um, I had great. Oh, I was there since eight years old, so I had a great time there, and and went on loan a few times, and sort of was my time to leave and, and, and pave my own way in in my footballing career, and uh, yeah, and now I'm here. Yeah, and obviously with those loans, I think it was Stevenage in League Two, then obviously Gillingham in League One. So do you think now it's time for? Portsmouth hopefully in the championship is that sort of why you're here yeah definitely it's, it's been a, <clears throat> a progression of like you said league two league one and hopefully like you said we can uh, we can push on and, and and get get to the championship you're down as a, a left back stroke center back so just tell us about kind of your versatility and, and where you like to play yeah so obviously like you said I play left uh, left left side of center half or, or left back and I enjoy playing both I, I enjoy defending and and that's one of my uh, one of my assets, and I'm trying to uh, compete in in both boxes and, and and pop up with a goal every now and then. Now that you've got a bit of experience behind you as well, do you feel like you're getting to that stage where you're sort of playing the role as of leader on the pitch as well? Um, yeah, slowly coming to my game. Um, as as 25 now, so I've sort of I've got to try and take that into into my into my hands and and become a leader, and and hopefully I can I can emulate it here. And you're going straight into it as well with Fleetwood on Saturday. How do you feel about sort of that quick turnaround and, and being chucked in at the deep end, so to speak? Yeah, um, it, it's, it's what you want. It's what you want. Um, you want games. You, you, you want them thick and fast. And, and that's how you, you get settled into clubs. And I'm, I'm looking forward to Saturday.